Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, I'm going to be doing a collaboration cook with Brad Robinson from Chud's Barbecue. We're both going to be making an Al Pastor sausage for you guys, but with a different twist. Stay tuned. Alright, so before I get started on the sausage recipe, as I mentioned in the introduction, this is a collaboration cook with Brad Robinson from Chud's Barbecue. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, you are missing out. He's an amazing pit master, and he's also got some pretty savage sausage videos. Let's get down to this recipe. Alright, let's get started on the ingredients for this sausage recipe. I am using 18 pounds of pork, 41 grams of black pepper, 16 grams of cumin, 6.5 grams of oregano, 61 grams of a guajillo chili powder, 37 grams of garlic powder, 82 grams of salt, 20.4 grams of speed cure, two 3.5 ounce packs of achiote paste, and I will talk about this here in a little bit. I'm also gonna be using two medium onions and six guajillo chili pods that have been soaking in hot water. I'm also gonna be using some chopped pineapple and some chopped cilantro, but only as a topping. I will not be using pineapple inside that sausage. For those of you guys that don't know, pineapple has a really aggressive enzyme called bromelain. Now inside the sausage, I'm afraid that that's gonna really break down the meat to the point where it might get a little bit pasty on you and even eat through the case. So you do not wanna use pineapple inside your sausage mixture. So I do wanna talk a little bit about this achiote paste. Some of you guys may not be familiar with it, but this is a popular ingredient in many Mexican dishes. So this paste is made with some really good spices and it has a little bit of salt as well, but what gives it that red color is the annatto seed, okay? You guys may not be familiar with that, but it's a little red seed and it's super bright and that's what's gonna give us that dark, rich color on our sausages. And again, I'm using two of these packs. All right, so I'm gonna put all the ingredients inside this blender right here, starting with the achiote paste. It smells really good, nice and earthy. What I like to do is just break it up a little bit that way it blends a little bit easier. Check that out. Super bright color. All right, I'm gonna add all the dry ingredients as well. I'm gonna add our six guajillo chili pods that have been sitting in hot water for about an hour now. And I did take the stem and the seeds out. All right, so to this, I'm gonna add two cups of water. All right, so I'm gonna blend this up really good for about four minutes. All right, so I did add about another four ounces of water, just so it wasn't so thick. And check out that consistency. That's exactly what you want. So I'm just gonna set this aside, grab our pork out of the fridge, and cut it into some small cubes. All right, so here are my two pork shoulders. Now, both of these weigh 19 and a half pounds, but they still have the bone on the inside. So once I pull the bones out, we should be at 18 pounds. So all I'm gonna do is cut this into some pork steaks, if you will. And then I'm gonna cut them down into small cubes, just like this. Just small enough so they fit down the throat of your grinder. Don't have to be too small. I am using my Dell Strong Chef Knife, but to take the bone out, I like to use my filet knife from Dell Strong. That really takes all the meat off. That bone makes it really easy. All right, so I'm gonna cube both of these pork shoulders up, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got the meat all cut up, and I did throw it in the freezer for about 30 minutes, so it's ice cold. And I also quartered my two medium onions that were in the ingredients list. So I'm just gonna load up my hopper here. I also had my grinding attachment in the freezer, so it's ice cold. And by the way, I am using the 10 millimeter die. I'm gonna grind this twice, and on occasion I'm gonna to toss a few onions 
down the throat of my grinder. All right, so the first round of grinding is done. Next, I'm gonna add our al pastor paste, seasonings, look at this. Add all of it in there, okay? There will be nothing left. Make sure you get all this yumminess out of there. All right, I'm just gonna mix this up by hand. Get it all distributed. Ooh, this is cold. Check out that awesome red color. It smells so good in here. All right, I'm gonna load up our hopper and go in for our second grind. I cannot wait to see what Brad's recipe is gonna be on these Al Pastor sausages. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. And again, I am using the 10 millimeter die, just grinding the meat twice. Now, Al Pastor sausages do have some texture, okay? It's not a fine grind. It's just chopped up meat. All right, here we go. All right, our meat is ground up. Just gonna mix this by hand real quick. Get that real nice protein extraction. And I gotta tell you, grinding it twice really helps with your protein extraction, okay? This is feeling really sticky right now. Now it does feel a little dry, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water, probably four ounces of water. Now I know that some people may have a rule of thumb for the amount of water or liquid to add to your sausage mixture. I throw that out the window. It's just gotta feel right, okay? And this feels much better. It's not too loose, not too dry. It's feeling really good. All right, let's check our tackiness. Let's see where we're at. Perfect. That's exactly what you want right there. Just gonna grab a little bit make a patty, fry it up, and check our seasoning. Stay tuned. All right, so we've got our patty fried up. Check that out, it smells amazing in here. Nice red color, nice and juicy. You can see little bits of the onions in there. Check that out. It's still hot, I'm gonna burn my mouth, but this is worth it. Here we go. Mm. Delicious, these are ready to go. I'm gonna get my stuffing ready and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, I've got my stuffing canister out of the deep freezer. Let's load this baby up. And again, when you stuff it, make sure you remove any air pockets just to try to eliminate you getting air pockets inside your casing. This recipe I know is gonna be delicious. Wait till you see the final product and what I'm gonna do with it. All right, let's load up our canister. Lower our piston just a bit. Grab our stuffing tube and our collar. Tighten this up. I'm gonna spray our stuffing horn with some avocado oil just so that our casing slides really easy. Got our casings here. Just find one end, stick two fingers in there. Now these casings have been sitting in warm water for a couple of hours now. So just pick up some of this water. The reason you do this is to flush your casing. It also helps when you slide the casing over the horn. Okay, just like that. This is Brad's favorite part of making sausage. Loading the casing, I know it makes him giggle just a little bit. <laughs> oh, I think I saw a tear. Yeah, we have a tear right here. No big deal. All right, so I pass the casing all the way through, lower down the piston, get your meat to the tip of the horn, 
right around there. Slide the casing out, make yourself a knot. Slide your casing back on, and we're ready to stuff. I like to throw some ice on my tray just to keep everything ice cold. Beautiful. All right, I'll bring you guys back as soon as I stuff all these casings. All right, so I've got all the casings stuffed. Now it's time to make our links. I'm gonna go with the six and a half measurement that I have here for these Al Pastor sausages. So there's six and a half inches and I pinch right here at six and a half, measure out another six and a half inches, pinch, and these casings are tight. So just pinch like that. You can twist or twirl just to get the casing nice and tight. Do one more for you guys, six and a half inches. Pinch the casing, six and a half inches, pinch, and twist, just like that. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of these done, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got all these sausages twisted up. They're gonna sit right here on my counter. I got a fan blowing on them, just to dry up the casing. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go fire up my smoker, and we'll see you guys outside. Okay, so I'm outside at my Yoda Frontiersman, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I set up my firebox for cold smoking sausages. So I'm gonna keep the flavor of these Al Pastor sausages as authentic as possible. So I'm gonna be using mesquite wood from Gourmet Wood Products. So if you're not familiar with Gourmet Wood Products, I don't blame you. The last 40 years, they have been supplying the restaurant industry. Now recently, Academy Sports and Outdoors started to sell the Gourmet Wood Products. Not only can you find mesquite, but you can also find pecan wood, hickory wood, and my personal favorite, post oak. Now Gourmet Wood Products does kiln dry all their wood to perfection as you can see. There's no mud or rocks or anything, just a beautiful clean piece of wood. Alright, so as you can see I got about 15 briquettes inside my firebox. I'm going to light them up with my grill gun from Grill Blazer. Check out the links below. If you don't already have one of these, I highly recommend it. Here we go. Alright, after one minute those briquettes are lit. So what I do next is drop my split on top of the lit coals, All right, just like that. We're going to let that ignite, let my smoker get up to 140 degrees, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so my Frontiersman is running at 140 degrees on the top shelf. Ooh, look at all that smoke. So just a little pro tip, it is perfectly fine to run dirty smoke when cold smoking sausages, okay? So here are the sausages. I'm just going to spread them out so they don't touch each other. All right, there we go. None of the sausages are touching each other. Slide that shelf back in. Shut the door. Load up the left side. All right, just loaded up the last ring here. Spread them out. All right, so I'm going to smoke these at 140 degrees for probably three hours. Then I'm going to come outside and crank the temperature up to 170 degrees. Stay tuned. All right, so three hours at 140 degrees and two hours at 175. And these sausages are ready. Check out this beautiful color. These are bright red. We've got an ice bath right here. Just going to throw them in there. Ooh, these bad boys are hot. Cool them down real quick. Check that out, nice and plump sausages. All right, so these sausages have been cooling for 30 minutes. Now I'm just gonna snip them apart with my shears here. Check out that beautiful color. All right, so I'm just gonna snip a couple more of these. I've got my smoker running at 275 degrees. Gonna throw these back on there. Should only take about 30 minutes and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so about 30 minutes later and these sausages are ready. And check out that gorgeous red color. These sausages are the reddest that I've ever made. And again, that's because of the achiote that we use in our ingredients. These look fantastic. Man, I can't get over how beautiful these things are. 
I'm sure Bradley's sausage is going to be beautiful as well. Can't wait to see his sausage. So I'm just going to move these aside. I'm going to fix myself a couple of Al Pastor sausage tacos. So I've got some corn tortillas that I picked up from the bakery today. Beautiful corn tortillas. You can do this with flour if you want, but corn is the way to go. Gonna add a beautiful sausage. Look at that, nice and shiny. We're gonna add a little bit of cilantro on the top. Beautiful. This reminds me of when I used to go to Mexico to eat tacos with my grandfather. We always used to eat al pastor tacos, which is the most popular taco in Mexico. And now for the pineapple. Since we can't use pineapple inside the sausage, again, because the enzymes would eat away at the meat fibers, but we can put it on the top for sure. Look at that. Now you can add salsa if you wanted to, to these tacos, but the way I used to eat them back in the day is with a nice serrano pepper. Who am I kidding? There was at least three on my plate. Check that out. The Al Pastor Sausage Taco. These are gonna be savage. All right, let's give this Al Pastor Sausage Taco a try. The aroma of mesquite is in this kitchen. It smells amazing. Brad, cheers, buddy. Here we go. That texture is exactly what I was after. I didn't want that smooth consistency. I wanted it like Al Pastor. Man, I gotta get another bite. Little serrano pepper. Mm -mm -mm. Man, this Al Pastor sausage is a flavor explosion. I will definitely be making these again, and I highly recommend that you give them a try as well. Don't forget to check out Chud's barbecue channel. I will be leaving a link up top and also inside the description box. If you guys are wanting to get some of the items that I use in this video, such as the knives, the cutting board, the sausage casing, and other ingredients, check out the links below and get yourself a nice discount. I hope you guys enjoyed this savage Al Pastor sausage video. If this is your first time to my channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.